Hey guys, Matt here, and in this video, I'm gonna be reviewing this 15.6 inch portable monitor. Full disclosure, I did get this for free in order to do this video, but it won't be affecting anything I say. So let's dive right into it. First of all, what's all included? There is a list here in the manual to confirm everything included, and I have it all taken out of the packaging and laid out here. First, we have our HDMI to mini HDMI cable. We've got our Type-C to Type-C, Type-C power cable, which this is actually a USB-A to USB-C cable. And then we have our five volt, three amp adapter and our user manual here. As for the actual device, it does come in the case already, which is quite custom to the fit of the unique shape of this. Here we have our on off button. We've got a menu type scrolling button here and it does push in. And then we have our aux port here for audio. On the other side, we have our mini HDMI input. Then we have two USB ports and these are both rated for data and power. The case stays on via just magnets on this side here and it sticks very well and you can slide it up. It's very similar to an iPad setup. You can also just take the whole case off and there are some mounting options on the back here. We also have our left and right speakers. It is stereo. Here's some extra spec stats stuck on the back of the monitor and all of the ports are labeled on here and it does slide on so easy because of that magnet form and it keeps it nice and safe and easy to travel with. To get this monitor up and running, there are three different ways to power it. We have our power supply via the wall charger, which comes with with it and we could plug right into our power supply here. We've got power supply via a power bank, a portable power bank, which I have right here and I'll be demonstrating. And then power via USB port or PC or laptop type thing where you can just run USB out of your laptop to power the monitor. Another note on this too is how you power it is gonna depend on what device you want to use. So there's three kind of methods here. You can connect via USB-C via laptop, iPad, or smartphone, or you can connect via USB-C uh, via a gaming device. So I have a switch here that I'll be demonstrating that function, or you can connect via HD connection. And notice here's laptop again, but in this example, the laptop would be going into the monitor via the mini HDMI input instead of the USB-C. First, let's use the included USB-C to USB-C cable, and I will hook up my MacBook Pro to this monitor. I'm just going USB-C to usb See, either port is fine. And as you can see, it's a little bit dimmer because a direct USB-C connection is not as bright. You can, you can actually click in this roll button on the side here to bring up the menu like so. And then this bottom on off button, if you click that once, it makes the menu go away. So you can click in this roll button and hold it. We have our menu settings, which I would like to turn up the brightness. So you can click it in to edit the brightness, click it again and now scroll up with the roll to make it brighter. And they do mention in the manual that the brightness may be auto reduced in the one cable function. Um, so if you have any issues with brightness, just power it via USB in the other USB-C port and that should fix that issue. And to quick go through the menu, you hold the roll, you hold the roll button and then you can scroll down. We've got all sorts of different things we can tweak here from brightness, contrast, eco, DCR, sharpness, all these different options. And to go back in the menu, you hit the button under the roll button, the on off button. And then I found a quick way to edit brightness or volume. If you go up with the roll button, it will tweak the brightness and then you can go down or up from there. And that's just a quick way that goes directly to brightness without having to go through the menu. And if you want a quick way to edit volume, you go down on the roll button and it brings up volume and then you can turn it up or down from there without having to go through the menu or hold the roll button and get the whole menu display and such. As for the main second setup, via USB-C gaming device connections. This is one of my favorites. We have a Nintendo Switch here and we can just go USB-C into the monitor and then also power the monitor, either from a power bank or from a direct outlet. Plug this USB-C in and turn the monitor on. And here we are functioning absolutely awesome. And I'm just going via the power cable here into the monitor and then the switch via USB-C right into the monitor and we're up and running. And here's one of my favorite setups via a portable power bank has USB-A to USB-C powering the monitor. And then we have our Nintendo Switch, USB-C to USB-C and up and running. So you could totally do this from the back of a car or so on, truly be able to play portably. Now for the third HD connection, I'm going to be using my Xbox Series S here and using the cable that is included with the monitor, which is a HDMI to mini HDMI. So let's 
plug in the HDMI out of the gaming console and mini HDMI into the monitor. And first time I tried this, I was absolutely astounded by how good the screen looked. And we'll also plug the monitor into a power supply. Look at how crispy this looks. I couldn't believe it the first time I tried this. And here's an extremely important part of the manual um, that explains which mobile phone models uh, support video output for this monitor. So you can screen cap this or just make sure whatever phone you're planning on using is on here. Note that Apple iPhones are not on this list. And then same type of thing for laptop models that support video output for this monitor. So once again, here's everything that's included. And I hope this video showed you exactly what to expect with this portable monitor. I absolutely love mine and it has so many useful uses as long as you know what you're getting into with it. So hopefully this helps. I'll catch you on the next one.